Today I fucked up by orgasming uncontrollably at the gym, causing a 911 call. About four months ago, I started doing daily Kegel routines to improve and intensify my orgasms. They work. Today, doing sit-ups on a bench at the gym, I began to feel strange. As I pushed upward on each rep, my body felt and tenser and tenser, like prostrated and elated, and I was vividly aware of the inseam of my shorts between my legs. Right before the peak, I finally realized what was happening. Stifling a moan, I threw myself forward, trying to avoid lying arched and spread eagled on my back. I ended up crashing to the floor, clutching myself. Once I could think again, I realized people were running toward me and yelling about seizures and heart attacks and 911. I curled into the fetal position. I was raised to be deeply, deeply ashamed of every aspect of my sexuality, and though I've recovered enough now to be adventurous in the bedroom, I'm still a ball of shame in public. Hearing sirens, my gym is four blocks from the fire station, I wished for death. Finally, when the paramedics were about to grab me, knowing a I couldn't afford the monetary devastation of an ER visit, I sat up and yelled, it was an orgasm I'm fine. I'm never going to that gym again. But I am gonna see where these kegels take me. Too long didn't read, did too many kegels, had a mega orgasm at the gym, concerned people thought I was dying. Edit, holy hot hell. The message is telling me I'm a, a, greasy neck beard who's never seen a woman, or, b, a fucking lying slut who needs to fucking die for spreading fucking cancerous shit are pouring in. Taking my secrets to the grave next time I fuck up. We do not and never had a rule that says stories must really have happened. It's a creative writing sub where you can go to read something fun about up making a fool of himself. People, the sooner you accept that on the internet most things didn't really happen the happier you will be. Don't go getting all upset over something that doesn't matter. Just enjoy the story for what it is, or move on to go do something that you do enjoy instead. It's okay. It's fine. You're fine. Relax. User reports. 79, invalid content. 42, this is spam. 38, not considered a fuck up. 23, spam, bots, advertising. 8, fake. 6, spam. 3, R2, post content. 3, it's involuntary pornography, and I do not appear in it. 2, no too long didn't read. NSFW tag. 2. It's rude, vulgar or offensive. 2. Incivility, disruptiveness. 2. No reason. 2. It's sexual or suggestive content involving minors. 1. No today I fucked up at the start of the title. 1. Just wanna join in on the funny report trend. Hi mods. 1. Fake as hell. 1. Are you fucking kidding me? 1. The fat sweaty guy who wrote this should be a mod. 1. Fake as shit. 1. No fantasy content. And when I do that they call the police instead. And that's the story of how you're not allowed within 500 feet of a Chuck E. Cheese. Who came faster you or them? Probably the sweaty guy watching the whole thing go down from a treadmill. Cut to the, the old grandma in the corner, I'll have what she's having. Kegels are also great for improving bladder control, so yes. Today I fucked up by dying in class. Today I fucked up by dying in class. I was in study hall yesterday morning, and I was hella tired cause I had stayed up late the night before. So I put my head down on the desk and took a fat nap. Shortly after I fell asleep, my nose started bleeding. A lot. There was so much blood, it formed a massive puddle on the desk. Everyone else was gone at this point. My teacher is a G so he lets us play dodgeball during study hall from time to time. He figured I was really tired so he didn't wake me up for it. Eventually they all came back, and saw me with my head on the desk and a puddle of blood forming around it. They all started freaking out, and all the commotion woke me up. So then I sat up and I was like, ha, huh? the end. Too long didn't read, fell asleep in class whilst everyone else was gone playing dodgeball, got a bloody nose, looked like I was dead when they all came back. Edit, did you die? Sadly, 
yes. But I lived. Hey, I know you died, but you're still coming to school tomorrow, right? Got a big project due that we need you here for. Nah, my mom found out I died so she called me in sick for tomorrow. Hey man it sucks that you died, hope you're doing okay now. Dying can be really bad for your health, try not to do it. Son, always remember, dying is gay. A body has been discovered. But hold on, nothing sexual happened. Are you sure you're on the right sub? Right, so the whole class got scared and left but my teacher stayed cause he has a necrophilia kink. Now, this is where the fuck up happened. Today I fucked up by accidentally caressing a parent of a child in my class. This happened a couple months ago, but I ran into my former boss today and she informed me that she still watches the video footage of my fuck up whenever she needs a good laugh. For the past five years I've worked in childcare with primarily one and two year olds. I'm very affectionate and am known to spoil the kids by holding them and cuddling them all day. I often have multiple toddlers coming to me needing to be consoled at the same time so I've gotten very good at multitasking. One day, this little boy named Luke was getting picked up by his dad early. It was snack time and Luke was not happy about having to leave and have his snack taken away from him. I took the screaming Luke and set him on the edge of the half door counter thing in front of his dad. His dad put an arm around him and bent over to sign him out. Luke was still crying loudly so I reached out my hand to smooth his hair back and touch his cheek. At the same time as I'm doing this, another little boy starts crying my name because he's just fallen down, so I turn around a little bit to face the other child. At this point, I'm still caressing Luke's face almost subconsciously while also kneeling down to talk to the other boy that's crying. After several moments of touching Luke's face, I realize that it's surprisingly hairy and then realize that he's a baby and shouldn't have a hairy face. My hand freezes and I slowly turn my head to see that not only am I face to face with Luke's dad, because I was kneeling and he was bent over the door signing Luke out, but that I also have my hand on his face instead of Luke's. I sat there shocked for several seconds before I realized that he had the biggest grin on his face and it finally clicked in my brain that I should move my hand. I stood up and immediately started apologizing and trying to explain myself. He just chuckled and said, don't be. Your hands are very soft and I do enjoy being pet. The thing about Luke's dad is that he is one of the most stunningly bow today I fucked up all men to walk this earth. All the women I worked with had crushes on him and I'm pretty sure he knew it. He's also very charming and sometimes flirty, but not in a creepy inappropriate way. So when he said this to me, my jaw dropped and my face felt like it was about to burst into flames from how much I was blushing. He saw my face, let out a big belly laugh, and said, relax. I'm just messing with you, it's okay, really. He then winked at me before chuckling some more and leaving with Luke. A couple minutes later, I hear some roaring laughter coming from the director's office. My director came down the hall cackling and asking who wanted to see me make a move on Luke's dad. Of course, by the end of the day everyone had seen the video of my fuck up. The next day, Luke's mom came into the room and said, I heard you made a move on my husband yesterday and then erupted into laughter. Apparently he called her as soon as he left to tell her all about what I had done. When my director saw that Luke's mom was there, she called us into her office to watch the video together. It's even more embarrassing watching it happen because of how absurdly long I was touching his face. Luckily, Luke's mom found the whole thing hilarious and hugged me and laughed the whole time we watched the video. The rest of the time I worked there I was teased about what I'd done. And apparently my director still watches the video and even shows some of the new employees. It is quite funny now but was super embarrassing in the moment. Too long didn't read, I accidentally caressed the dad of one of the children in my class and am now known as the teacher who made a move on a parent. Fucking up on camera is the worst way to fuck up. I work security and there are multiple fuck ups that we bring up and rewatch all the time. A guy fell between the ramp of a truck and a loading dock and we rewatch that shit at least once a week. This guy backed into a dumpster and blew out his back window and fuck I look that up all the time. Lamau? That's hilarious. I'm crying I'm laughing so hard. 
My first job was as a cashier at Target and then I was moved to guest services. The area at guest services where we would sort all the returns had a camera watching it. I would often forget about the camera and do little dances while working. After the security guys told me that they see me dancing, I made a point to sometimes flirt with the camera. One time, I'd been sorting returns and doing silly things for the camera for a good maybe 20 minutes. I was so into being silly, that I accidentally knocked over a tub full of glass ornaments. Of course the security guys immediately came out of the office howling with laughter and telling everyone what happened. I fuck up a lot on camera. I'd love a job where I could watch people fall slash fuck shit up on camera. LOL. You call it a fuck up, I call it the most cute and wholesome story I've read here, what with everyone laughing it off and your embarrassment. Ten tenths would pet again. P.S. I know it was your plan all along. Well done. LOL. Thank you. Not gonna lie, I would pet again. Smiley face, all my co-workers kept teasing me and telling me they knew I did it on purpose. We even had a new kid come into the class while Luke's dad was dropping off Luke and he said to the parents, be careful with this one, she likes to pet. Then of course, my boss had to tell the story and show the video. Woman face bombing. I think women underestimate how much guys appreciate pats, ear scratches, belly rubs and raw hides. Raw hides. I have kids and a hairy face. But are you one of the most stunningly bow today I fucked up men to walk this earth? I need to see the video oh.